treats her tarts um, from Chris Wildman. Yes. Amazing. So I kept inviting her back for more, obviously. But we used to do, when the Culture Vulture first started, we were really aware that actually um, we could probably support each other by sharing skills in terms of how to get the most out of social media. So we did this thing called Cultural Conversations, which started quite small, had about 30 people, and then it just kept growing and growing and growing. And it really was like peer-to-peer. So nothing's really changed, it's just morphed in lots of ways. And um, so what I'm really interested in is how my sort of peers, contemporaries, in just four short years, and us included a little bit, I guess, with Dell, have um, had quite an interesting journey, which is what I thought you might be interested in hearing as well, which is from blogging. So uh, my clever thing was from pixel to print, I think, which is, again, um, not what everybody wants to do, but there's two people here who've got a great story to tell. So... Um, my question to both of you, and whoever wants to answer first, is um, is what was you know what did you used to do? What was the how, why did you start blogging, both of you? Why did I start blogging? Um, I don't really know. I think it was just one of those occasions when it was quite new, and I thought I would have a go. But what I found was I went into the the bloggers negative in the sense that. Um, no one was leaving any comments and I thought well what's the point so I, I started a blog called the um, uh, was it Baker Cake Project and I was going to do it similar to Julie and Julia no one was leaving any comments so I closed it down and then moved on to something else so I don't really know what the answer is as to why I was blogging, I was just curious really I think that was the, probably the main reason By the time you came to that first event you did have a blog that you related to an activity you were doing Oh, the secret tea room? Yeah. Yes, I was doing that because it was part of the Supper Glove movement at the time in 2009, and I thought I would have a go. Um, and I wanted to do something that I enjoyed, which was baking, so I thought, well, I'll have a go at that, um, which worked very well. And then um, I, I think it was a few months afterwards, and I started the Clandestine Cake Club. So that all happened within um, sort of a year or so. But... Um, Yes, again, I don't really know why I did that. I think it was just a case of because no one else was doing it that I, I thought I would have a go. Um, but the blog that I have now, The Secret Tea Room, I don't do that anymore. I just don't have time. But I've kept the blog going um, and sort of changed the tagline that I'm baking through retirement. But that blog is just pure, purely for me. I'm not bothered if people leave comments. I'm concentrating more on the Climbest and Cake Club. So if I, I, I don't have the pressure now of actually doing any blogs or write-ups for the the secret tea room, the, the bake lady blog. So um, there's less pressure there. I'm just concentrating on the clandestine cake. What about you, Lee? What started you off? Um, I started it in 2007. I've always enjoyed eating and drinking. I come from a family of butchers, um, so it's always been sort of large in our family about having food around the um, locality and stuff like that. And um, around that time, I was drinking... Um, La- sort of lagers and stuff like that weren't. It, I wanted something a, a bit more, so I'd go to these pubs and see all these um, hand pumps on the bar, and I didn't really know what they were because, let's face it, beer can be a bit um, impenetrable um, sometimes. So I, I used to, um, I took the plunge and started to basically order these drinks and um, loved them. And this, and I've always liked to write. Um, I dabbled in fiction when I was a bit younger um, and I decided the best way to maybe help other people take that step uh, take that step into choosing a beer over something that's um, generic and mass produced etc would be to basically do a short guide to it not as an expert in any way but actually here's what this beer actually tastes like and if you like this you might like this and that's basically how the blog started it was a way to guide pe- to guide folk in a very non um, in a very friendly way purely about the taste of it um, and a, kind of an attempt to demystify what these strange tasting strange named beers and um, yeah. stuff were so yeah that was it 